still on making Nigeria great again. I want to show us something that we have to change in the mindset of we Nigerians. Now, this fateful day, a maker traveled to his village to celebrate Christmas with his families. Now, and he traveled with the new car that he, he bought, a very nice one. When his mom got the car, she started to dance, she started to rejoice, and their neighbor, she could his mom, saw her dancing, came around and said, is this a maker's car? In excitement, a maker's mom said, yes, my son told me he just bought it. You know what Chukudi's mom did? He ran straight to the house, called Chukudi his son, and started to rain abuses on him, telling him how useless he is and how she regrets ever having him as his son. Can I tell you the truth? For Nigeria to rise again, we all must come to understand that it is not material things that defines us. We must get to a point where we don't rate ourselves by the kind or level of material things we possess. Now, do you know that this materialism has driven a lot of Nigerians to begin to do the things that they shouldn't do? You know why? They want to show up. Hear me, for Nigeria to rise again, we all must come to that point. Let us understand that we are who we are with or without those material things. I took my time to study some tough officials in England. You will see the Prime Minister of England riding on a bicycle to the place of work and you will be shocked. You see some top officials in the bus, public bus, they use public transport to go to work. Why is it not working like that in Nigeria? We have this mindset. We want to rate ourselves by the number or level of material things we possess. Do you know that this rating has driven a lot of Nigerians to begin to do things that are not godly and can i tell the truth this is one of the reasons why nigerians are tagged with one name and what is that corrupt people for nigeria to rise again let's come to that point that it is not the material thing we have that should define us my name is afolabi princewell with or without any material thing, my name will still remain a Folabi Prince Will. I come again. This is who I am. It is not the material thing I have that defines me. Now, we all get to this point. When we all get to this point, I tell you the fact. It will be easy for us to do the right thing. It will be easy for us to follow the right path without waiting to get somebody to either hail us or talk good about us. Hear me, Nigeria will rise again. And for Nigeria to rise again, we must not allow material things to be our focus or to define us. I want to summarize with the pledge. I pledge to Nigeria, my country, to be faithful, loyal, and honest. To serve Nigeria with all my strength. To defend her unity and uphold her honor and glory. So help me God.